The light. So this is a follow-up to... Are we just going to keep playing this? This is a follow-up to yesterday's Brain Drops in which we talked about rock salt getting rid of ice and how that worked. Right. Well, somebody said, okay, that was interesting. Um, what about putting salt in my pasta water? That's just something I've been doing because to make it boil faster. Right. So does that work? And for taste. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, for making it boil faster, it's actually the opposite of that. So okay. to get water to boil, you're basically taking a liquid, right? And you're exciting the, uh, the molecules in it fast enough. They start moving fast enough. They start escaping the liquid into the gas form. So that, that happens. But when you add salt, you're essentially kind of diluting and then weighing down these molecules. So actually, <laughs> it's a couple of uh, degrees higher so it's boiling point elevation is what they call it, to get a salt solution to boil as opposed to just water. Uh, so it goes the opposite direction of what you would think. However, Lindsay, as you mentioned, there is the aspect of taste. And so most chefs will still tell you to put salt in it for the taste, but it does not make it boil faster. By the way, if you'd like to see these graphics done in a very professional way, you can <laughs> email <laughs> our, my boss at a desk at newcentermain.com about getting a graphic artist to make this a little bit prettier. Until then, I'm drawing these Did pictures. Did Michael Gagne tell you to leave him alone? Yeah, yeah, um, poor Michael. He makes like most of my school. stuff. I like yeah. it old like school. It's good. I like you know, it's good. Think about chalk. But yeah. anyways, so you can do it for taste, but it does not uh, speed things up for you. Oh, gotcha. bummer. And yeah. watching it apparently doesn't help either. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, News Center Main at 530 starting right now.